Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a natural oil to foam shampoo using the Micromulse Foam by Alchemy Ingredients. Now this oil to foam shampoo is better suited to your African Caribbean hair or your dry hair types. It wouldn't be suited to normal hair as it may make it too oily. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Now firstly here in my phase A I have my Micromulse Foam by Alchemy Ingredients. Now this is a natural alternative to your synthetic surfactant materials. So this is based off of amino acid surfactants and it's oil based. Now it is Cosmos approved. It's 100% natural origin. It's RSPO mass balance. It's globally approved around the world. It's really easy to use. It's cold processable, gluten and vegan free, and it's perfect for sensitive skin type. So this one is ticking all of the boxes just like alchemy ingredients do with most of their materials. Now it's very easy to formulate with. You do need to add it slowly to your oil phase. You don't want to add any other uh, water or glycerin as it can destabilize the system. So you want to add oils and add it very, very slowly to your oil phase. So my lipids here have gone for more of the light to medium feel lipids. So I have here some Dermafil Sensol. So this is a quite a light, dry feeling one. I've also got some Lexafil Natural here. This is also another nice, light feeling ester. It's naturally derived. And then I've also got here some Capillaric Capric Triglycerides. This is a medium feel. So it's just gonna give it a nice balance. You don't want it to feel too oily on the hair, especially after wash off, otherwise it's just gonna weigh your hair down and you would just have a big greasy mess on your head. Now, this is probably better suited to more of the dry hair types or African Caribbean type hair. Um, I'm also am going to add um, an essential oil to give it a nice scent. And of course, I've just got a bit of tocopherol here as well. And I'm just going to give that a little mix just to kind of bring them all together. Now, if you do want it feeling a bit more richer, you can add more plant oil or more of the uh, triglycerides just so it's got a more of a richer feeling, but you don't want it to go too heavy. As I said before, it will leave a big greasy mess on top of your head, which is not very desirable, especially with a shampoo. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start using my overhead mixer here to gently add in my Micromulse foam. You don't wanna have your RPM up too high because you don't wanna cause a lot of foam. You also don't wanna use high shear either. And it is recommended by the supplier to add it slowly. So I've just got it in a little beaky here. I'm just gonna add it bit by bit. Just a little bit at a time. Wait for that to become homogenous. And then I'm gonna add my next bit. Now you can kind of see there are some bubbles or some a low amount of foam forming. So that's why we need to keep our RPM low and that's why you have to use low shear because using high shear is just gonna cause a big foamy mess and it will take some time for the bubbles to settle as well. And you can see that's all homogenous. It's created a pretty clear shampoo here. Now, as always, we're just gonna cover it and leave it sit overnight just to assess to see if there's any stability problems overnight. And we're gonna come back and look at this the next day. Alrighty, and here's what my shampoo is looking like the next day. I am gonna show you how it foams. So I've just got a bit of water here. I've added a little bit of the shampoo to my hands. Now let's just get a bit messy here. <laughs> so you can see it's producing some nice creamy foam here. It actually feels really nice on the skin. Like I said, it's got a light to medium uh, feel here. 
don't have it too heavy otherwise it's gonna, just gonna leave a big greasy ball on top of your head but it's got nice slip too so it's gonna help spread through the hair really well as well well there you go that's how super easy it is to put together a natural oil to foam shampoo if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up leave any questions in the comments below and please make sure you subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos happy formulating